I want to talk to you freaks about flipping houses. Yeah, that's what I want to talk about today, man. I want to talk about flipping houses, right? I've flipped a lot of houses. I made like a whole boatload of money flipping houses. And also, uh, I do this show where I help guys like you, guys like my dude Mark from Minneapolis, Minnesota, flip houses as well. And Mark sent me this particular property. Let me make that a little bigger for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Mark sent me this house. It's out of state. It's in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, right? Mark, as I mentioned, is in Minneapolis, right? My team helps people flip houses, okay? We do the on-the-ground stuff, the renovation, uh, the repairs. We resell it for you. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate in this market, right? I know what I'm doing. And it starts, though. It starts with helping you identify properties. And Mark saw this, and he's like, yo, is this a deal we could do together, Jay Wise? Let me know. Well, that's not. Guess what, Mark? That's what we're doing. I'm about to let you know right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy, Jay Wise, here with another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show, episode 1,746, man. That is a lot of shows, dude. 1,746 times. I have worked with people just like my guy Mark to help them make money in real estate. And you make money in real estate two ways. Two ways. Those two ways are, number one, doing good deals. Number two, avoiding bad deals. What's up with this one? Is it a good deal? Is it a bad deal? That's what we're here for, right? The address, 2127 Goodner Road, Cleveland Heights. 44118, priced at 89.9. That's only $49.42 a square foot. Now, you might think it's probably going to obviously be an awesome deal, right? If you're doing your research on the Cleveland market, maybe you've read my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. You know that I consider this to be a B grade neighborhood, okay? Maybe. Maybe you've ordered your free uh, your free prop stream trial, right? You've clicked the link below, ordered your free prop stream trial, got yourself MLS-like data for the entire world, including Cleveland. I lied. It's actually not for the entire world. It's for, it's for America. If you would like to buy houses in other countries, I cannot assist you. I do not know their laws, their regulations, how they do things, and uh, PropStream only works in the USA. But if you want the data for the USA, uh, what I'm telling you to do is, is click the fucking link and sign up for the, the free trial. And then after that, if you want to retain a lifetime discount because you're a Holton Wise viewer, uh, you can do so because I'm just a nice guy hooking you up. And uh, disclosure, I, I, do get, I do get a commission. Obviously, they pay, they pay us money to be on the show. It would, it would be stupid of me to let them be on the show without paying money. That's how it works. But anyway, folks, the data is there. You should get it. It's dope. But you could also get the data directly from me by ordering a show like Mark has done. And that's where we're at. Uh, but the data will tell you that this is actually a pretty dope neighborhood, and uh, the price points lead itself uh, lead itself for you to believe that hey, you might be onto something. This might be a possible uh, flip opportunity. Could be a good deal. Uh, further investigation, I think it's tough. This is tough. I'm, I'm working with limited info uh, on this analysis, so I'm going to say maybe, maybe it could be a flip. Probably not. Uh, here's what we have. Now, comps, my best estimate of comps for this house, about two hundo. okay? We're looking at about 200000 But here's the issue. I read through the POS report, and if you guys don't know what a POS is, it does not mean piece of shit, by the way. Uh, it stands for point of sale. I have a vi uh, video that I made about the point of sale process. It's in the notes below. Check it out. We got a lot of that in Cleveland. Now, assuming you all know what POS is now that I just told you how to find that information, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time right now telling you that information because I already did it and recorded it and told you where the fuck to find it. So don't ask me to, like, tell it to you again. That'd be crazy. I already linked to it, guys. Come on! Stick with me. But anyway, you're looking at, like, 25K of POS work. And uh, through that POS, actually, it's more than that, really. It's probably, like, 25K on the outside with some more on the inside. Uh, but in addition to that, you're going to need uh, to do like a full on cosmetic renovation uh, on the interior. Right. And some of the things that I noticed uh, that they spoke about 
in that POS. They talked like there was a missing hot water tank that needed to be installed, a missing furnace that needed to be installed, uh, things of that nature. So y we're probably looking at like, I don't know, 25 on the outside, a whole bunch on the inside. And the problem is I don't have any photos, right, to tell you exactly where I think we're going to be on the inside. Uh, so just from the very limited amount of information I have, oh, they want you to do the driveway too. That's part, partly where I got the, uh, f for how I got to the 25 in the outside, by the way, I should probably explain that. Uh, the driveway, they want that done. Uh, you got to replace the garage floor, repair the garage floor, right? Uh, no, nah, I guess there's cracking, okay? You got to do that. Uh, in addition, uh, they want you to do all the windows, okay? I consider that part of the outside, right? So you're spending about 25K doing all that, right? Then on the inside, they made mention of things like there was a missing bathtub in one of the bathrooms. There was no furnace, no hot water tank, right? So that leads me to believe, I don't know much, uh, like, but I know that we're missing furnace, we're missing bathtub, we're missing hot water tanks, so we're probably missing some mechanicals and whatnot. So like, without photos and like more detailed information, it's, it's really hard to put an exact number. Like, you'd have to do more due diligence. We'd have to actually get in there and do, a, like, a full-on inspection, right? So it's up to you how much money you want to spend on additional due diligence, right? We can get an inspector in there. You drop, like, you know, five, 600 bucks uh, to really go through that, and I can give you a, a better estimate. But, like, in my opinion, I think it's very possible that you end up over 100K into the rehab, right? So if your ARV is, like, 200K, and we're just ballparking this, looking at like 100K uh, for the deal. And then what is the price? It's like 89. That's not going to work, right? Because that's only 189. But don't forget, uh, when you sell, you're going to have like 14, 15, 16, 17,000 uh, in commissions. So you're already underwater, right? Uh, and uh, it doesn't appear that the seller is interested in taking like a super low ball offer. And I don't know how much time you want to spend uh, considering making a low ball offer when we really don't know the extent of the interior rehab. Uh, you know, could be 100, could be 120, could be 80. I don't really know. Uh, the information I have right now is this looks to be very tight at best and uh, more likely a long shot, right? So it's up to you how much additional money you want to spend on additional due diligence to really determine if you have a deal here or not. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.